Hi, my name is Mr. D and today I want to take a look at integration involving the natural logarithm. So we have evaluate the following integral and we're looking at sine 2x over 1 plus cosine squared x dx. So for this problem the first thing we could do is we could let u equal 1 plus cosine squared x. So now at this step, because we're making a u substitution, we're going to have to find the derivative of 1 plus cosine squared x. So off to the side we can see that the derivative with respect to x of 1 plus cosine squared x is equal to, for the first term 1, the derivative with respect to x of 1 is 0, but now we find the derivative of cosine squared x. This is where we need to use the power rule and the chain rule. So we're looking at the exponent of 2, so we're going to multiply, we have 2 times cosine x to the 2 minus 1, or to the first power, times the derivative of cosine x, which is negative sine x. So all we did would, was use the power rule and the chain rule to find the derivative of 1 plus cosine squared x. So this allows us to write that du is equal to and now we'll just simplify everything. Negative 2 sine x cosine x. So all we do is use commutativity. We can rearrange the factors and we have negative 2 sine x cosine x. But remember, we have to include our dx at the end. So at this step, now we look at this integral. And this kind of prompts us to figure out how we're going to make a substitution. Notice the sine of 2x is kind of a confusing term to deal with. So whenever you have something other than an x inside your trig function, usually you need to make use of one of the trig identities. So we look at the trig identity sine 2x equals 2 sine x cosine x. And notice how that matches our du term. Not exactly, but it almost matches it. So we're going to make use of this. So we can call this our step 1. For step 2, we're going to make as many substitutions as we can. But maybe one thing we'll do to kind of make everything jump out at us, we're going to replace sine 2x with 2 sine x cosine x over, and we're going to leave 1 plus cosine squared x, and we have our dx off to the side. But notice that the numerator, 2 sine x cosine x, times dx almost matches our du term. So one thing we could do to make it match directly is multiply both sides of this equation by negative 1. Then we have that negative du is equal to 2 sine x cosine x dx. So notice now that our right hand side of our equation matches our numerator in our problem that we're working on. So now we're able to make our substitutions directly. For step 3, we have the integral of, and now instead of 2 sine x cosine x dx, we're going to write negative du over, and now we have 1 plus cosine squared x, that we can replace with u. So notice the negative in front of our du. We could bring this negative sign outside of the integral in front as a coefficient. So for step 4, we have negative du over u. But notice from what we wrote down in the beginning, that du over u is equal to the natural log of absolute value of u plus c. So at this step, we could write negative the natural log absolute value of u plus our constant term c. So the last thing that we do need to do, remember our original problem was in terms of x, so we need to substitute for our expression u. So our last line, step 6, we have negative natural log of 1 plus cosine squared x plus our constant term c. And this is our final answer. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on integration involving the natural logarithm. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.